guys welcome to my channel in this short video i want to show you how ai is capable of generating a presentation and presenting it using voice lab to begin you need to go to chat gpt and if you have a topic you just need to import the topic and search for it as a sample i wanted to search the possible solutions for air pollution. I searched for that and after a short time, it brought an article in length that you want. For instance, I wanted this article to be 1000 word length. The next step would be exporting the outcomes into VoiceOver. VoiceOver is AI based software that changes your text into any voices that you want all you need to do import your text and select the voice that you want to read your text you can select the audio you can change the speed the accuracy and how and pronunciations i exported my text into voiceover and the results are brilliant Air pollution can have serious health effects, especially for vulnerable populations such as children and the elderly. Now let's change the voice and the accuracy and see what the differences you can make by using voiceover into your text. Exposure to pollutants in the air has been linked to respiratory illnesses, heart disease, and even cancer. In addition to the health effects, air pollution also has negative impacts on the environment. Air pollution is a major environmental concern affecting millions of people worldwide. It is caused by a variety of sources, including industrial emissions, transportation, and agricultural practices. Air pollution can have serious health effects, especially for vulnerable populations such as children and the elderly. Exposure to pollutants in the air has been linked to respiratory illnesses, heart disease, and even cancer. In addition to the health effects, air pollution also has negative impacts on the environment, including climate change acid rain, and damage to ecosystems. To address air pollution, it is important to reduce. To address air pollution, it is important to reduce. Emissions from sources such as vehicles and factories, as well as promote cleaner energy sources like wind and solar power. For you, not as an expert, but as a concerned citizen. One of the 400,000 people who marched in the streets of New York on Sunday and the billions of others around the world who want to solve our climate crisis. As an actor, I pretend for a living. I play fictitious characters, often solving fictitious problems. I believe that mankind has looked at climate change in that same way, as if it were a fiction. As if pretending that climate change wasn't real would somehow make it go away. But I think we all know better than that now.